Now I'm popped up twice, drank on ice, high beams on, forever top flight, buy high flow, cabin pressure low, watching out for traffic control. I'm clear for landing, landing, landing. I'm clear for landing, landing, landing. I'm clear for landing, landing, landing. Shit, I'm too fly to be touched, too hard to be crushed. Jamming, when I pull out on the scene, ho, ho, hop up out they jeans, y'all. What's up, peeps? John Williams here with The Distance. Got a video for you guys. This is a post-fight to Kendall Holt versus Tim Coleman. Bout just ended in the second round. Knockout in favor of Kendall Holt. Um, pretty much, I made a prediction. I think it was longer than the fight anyway. Um, pretty much the story of the fight, um, Roy Jones Jr. was in the corner of Kendall Holt um, as his trainer. And overall, you know, I think, I don't think it played that much of a difference just because, you know, Kendall Holt, is more was probably a little more self trained than ever and also he was just a superior fighter, had you know, had better hand speed, better timing and went to the body a lot more in this fight. And I did see a little bit of a difference in Holt style, just a smidgen. Not all too much. You know, pretty much you know, he did go to the body more, he did aim towards the body because it seems to be Tim Coleman's Achilles heel is his body as we've seen in the Paris fight. So he did go to the body early. He, um, and even though, and also Coleman did, you know, stand in front of him and try to, um, let his hands go a little bit in the first few seconds of the fight, um, Kendall Holt, you know, did the right thing, you know, he moved, he used his lateral movement to not let Tim Coleman get set and, you know, timed his shots and patiently just patiently work, work towards him, went to the body, um, went for the left hook, you know, stood on the outside and also Coleman was standing in front of him, which is, you know, which is perfect for a counter puncher when you square up with a counter puncher because the counter puncher can dictate the patients using your aggression against you. And that's kind of what Kendall Holt did. He used his aggression against them, went to the body, um, came, you know, um, stood on the outside, you know, jabbed a bit, and just patiently, you know, patiently um, placed his shots. You know, at welterweight, Kendall Holt seems to have a lot more energy, um, a little more. It seems that as if he carried his punching power up to 147, and I think could possibly be a problem at this weight. I think he needs to continue to fight at 147, continue the campaign at this weight. I think, you know, continue to fight on ESPN, maybe, you know, fight with Roy Jones for a couple more fights. See if, you know, see if Roy Jones is really paying a difference off in his career. So the only problem you'll, you'll have with training with Roy Jones, Roy Jones is a good eye. You know, he has a good eye for the sports, you could tell from time to time with his commentary. Sometimes he needs to take his own advice. Um, as far as the Paul Williams fight, when he said, you know, he needs to retire, I think Jones needs to retire. But that's a different story and a different debate. But just overall, I think, you know, maybe a couple more fights with Roy Jones and just go on from there. Uh, Tim Coleman, on the other hand, you know, he was self-trained in this fight, and you could tell that he was self-trained. Um, and also, you could tell still his Achilles heel is the same thing. You saw the same kind of fight with Tim Coleman. Um, Tim Coleman needs to reevaluate his career after this fight. Um, and that's just all I need to say about this fight. Um, not much that you could say. It was two rounds. Kendall Holt came in and he and he looked impressive and took out, you know, took out Coleman in two rounds, man. Um, I could see Kendall Holt um, fighting like a Vernon Paris or a Zab Judah sometime soon. That would be, you know, against Zab Judah, that would be a huge fight in New York or in the East. But... We'll see what happens, and we'll see who he's matched up against next. So anyway, peeps, that was Distance. Thanks for watching. Peace. I vote to you If you can Pull the country through You're the man